Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and welcome to my final review of 2016, and it's going to be for Assassin's Creed. So, Assassin's Creed stars Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard, and Jeremy Irons, and what this film is about. It's about when these people need this guy named Cal to access his memories of his old ancestors who were assassins at one point to retrieve this item called the apple and they're going to try and ridicule violence in the world with it. So what did I think of Assassin's Creed? Now uh, let's be honest, video game movies they're not the best. Okay, I had some high expectations for this movie because I really wanted it to be the first great video game movie. I really wanted it to. I really wanted this movie to be the first fantastic video game movie. You know, because like I said, video game movies, they're not that great. But however, there has been some exceptions. I mean, I enjoyed Prince of Persia. I enjoyed Need for Speed. I enjoyed this year's Warcraft. So there have been exceptions. But like I said, there hasn't been that one fantastic video game movie. And plus, I have played some of the Assassin's Creed video games. And I was interested to see what they would do with this world. Yeah, this movie's not good. <laughs> like, it's not good. It really isn't. This movie is pretty bad. At, honestly, this is a really bad movie, to be honest. The Assassin's Creed is pretty terrible. So, let's get to my positives, because I actually do have some positives with this movie. Um, first being, um, it seemed like Michael Fassbender was the only one that was somewhat trying in this movie. Like, it seemed like he was the only actor that somewhat cared. Like, he seriously seemed like the only actor in this movie that somewhat cared, like... Like, you know what I mean? Everyone else, I'll get into it in a moment, but it seemed like Michael Fassbender really was the only one that was at least trying in this movie. Um, the assassin scenes, like when we get to the memories and stuff, those were really good. I didn't necessarily love them because there is a huge issue I do have with those scenes, but I actually really liked them, and I thought they were by far the best thing about the movie, to be honest. I actually really enjoyed them, I wish the movie could have been more like those scenes. Um, I thought the directing was really good, too. I thought the movie had some pretty solid directing, honestly. I did really like the directing with the film, too. Now, those are my only positives, so I guess we go straight into the negatives now. So, and the negatives are with this film, and there are a lot. First being, the acting. No one cares, really. Like, no one just cares. No one cares. Like, no one cares in this entire movie. Like, seriously. Marion Cotillard, who I actually really like as an actress, she's very good in my eyes. She didn't care. Like, it seemed like she did not care in this movie at all. Like, she gives kind of just a boring, dull, lifeless performance. Like, it seemed like she did not care at all in this movie. Same goes for Jeremy Irons. I thought Jeremy Irons didn't care as well. Like, I thought he didn't care in this movie as well. He just kind of just gave a boring, dull performance as well. Like, he just didn't care. So, yeah. That, that's the biggest problem. It seemed like no one cared. Like, all the rest of the actors, except for Michael Fassbender, who at least seemed like he was trying, no, they didn't care. Like, it seemed like they just did not care at all. And it's just like, yeah, hi, I'm here. That's all it seemed like. So, yeah. Oh, um, man. And remember why I said well, I have a huge problem with those action scenes? Well, this is my main issue with them. Like, we'll say we're in the memories with Michael Fassbender and stuff, and we'll see Michael Fassbender fighting in those memories. Then they'll just randomly cut to him fighting in the facility. Like, what? They'll cut back and forth a lot during the during these fight scenes. Like, they'll show him fighting, fighting in the memory, and then him fighting in the facility. Like, and they do it in such a sloppy way, too. Like, seriously. And they do it in such a messy and sloppy way as well. Like, the editing with those scenes were awful. Honestly, some of the worst editing I've seen all year. Like, seriously, it was terrible the way they edited those scenes. Like, they'll first show him in the memory fighting. And then they'll show him in the uh, facility fighting. I almost said Felicity. And the facility fighting. But and just the way they edited those scenes were terrible in my eyes. Um, just the way that they focus little on the, sto on the story and the characters, really. It's more or less they focus more on their action set pieces than they do their story and characters. Like, seriously, like, the story's uninteresting and the characters are uninteresting. You know what I mean? Like, I just didn't care for the story. The story was pretty boring, to be honest. Like, it was kind of a, just a lame, generic story to me. And the characters were kind of just... Whatever, to be honest. They weren't all that interesting. 
It, it seemed like they just wanted to make this movie just to do the big action set pieces. You know what I mean? It's like the um, people that were making this movie were like playing the Assassin's Creed games and they were like, Man, these set pieces are really cool. Hey, you want to make a movie out of it? Sure. Uh, don't we need story and characters? Uh, we'll just add those in. Uh, people just want to see the action uh, set pieces. Well, let's just add those in. Like, that's what it just seemed like. You know what? That that just was what it seemed like to me. It seemed like they didn't care about didn't care about their story or their characters because they're both uninteresting and both really nothing too memorable with those things. The writing is not that good as well. The writing is pretty bad with this movie, to be honest. I thought the writing was pretty bad, to be honest. Um, and finally, this movie is boring! My goodness, this movie is boring! Like, seriously, it's so uninteresting, this movie. Like, they focus way too much in this facility. Like, they are in it way too much. I heard a rumor about, like, back in, like, June, I think, that the movie was going to be 90% of the, um, facility. I was like, nah, that's not going to happen. That can't happen, right? Nope, that's exactly what happened. It's exactly what happened. It focuses all in that facility for most of the movie. And I was so uninterested because it was not interesting at all. Like, seriously, I was so bored. I was just like, please, movie, I want you to be good. But you're not. You're garbage. It's awful, this movie. Guys, Assassin's Creed was not the savior for video game movies. Far from it. It was an awful movie. I remember I remember me saying, this is going to be the savior of video game movies. This is going to help video game movies. Nope, it's just another one we can add to the list of terrible video game movies. So it's time for my official grade on Assassin's Creed. And my official grade on Assassin's Creed is a D+. It's an awful movie. Seriously, this was terrible. I could not believe how much of a mess this movie was. Seriously, like I said, I want to like this movie. I did. I went in this thinking, please, let this be the first great video game movie. And in the end, it wasn't. It was a pile of garbage. So yeah, that's why I think of Assassin's Creed. It's awful. So, before I let you guys go, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for such a great year in 2016 for my channel. It's been amazing. Okay, it's been great. I had a great time with you guys. This was awesome. I had a great year in 2016 in terms of my channel. It was incredible. You know, we reached two milestones, two milestones in one year. That's pretty insane. And just thank you for supporting me throughout this entire year. I very much appreciate it. And let's make 2017 even better for the channel. Let's do it. So, yeah. So, what did you guys think of Assassin's Creed? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.